Hello. My God, stop. Good evening. Can you hear me? All right, happy to see you here. Let's see. Uh, okay, give me one second. I'm trying to get the the link. All right. Uh, how are you today? Hi, how are you? Fine. I'm doing awesome. Thank you for asking. Did you have a good day? So, so. <laughs> so, so. Very busy, a lot of work. Yes. Okay. So, uh, yesterday we were studying the, the verb, right? So, um, we're going to watch the video. And I'm sharing the link again. So, it, some and many people is having issues with that. Uh, okay, I hope that they can. <laughs> All right, so I already shared the link, so I hope that everybody can be able to um, enter to the section. Uh, well, uh, yesterday we were about to study the bird B. Um, so, yes, uh, thank you for being here. Aunque tengan problemas, gracias, Byron. So, lo vamos a tomar en cuenta. Es importante que siempre se conecten, ¿verdad? Aunque sea escuchar, ayuda. Okay, so I'm going to share the screen. We're going to watch the video about the verb B. Ayer estuvimos, um, so, introducimos el topic. Decíamos verb B, es cero, estar. Y... Uh, Bueno, por la tormenta igual, eh, pues tener paciencia e ir a un lugar donde no se escuche tanto el ruido y pues tratar de en la manera de seguir en la clase. So, uh, vamos a ver el video del verb be. Ahí está toda la información, todas las estructuras con el verb be. Y luego lo vamos a ir explicando poco a poco. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to form statements and questions using the verb to be. Let's get started by looking at the image on your screen. I would like to start by explaining the verb to be which corresponds to each pronoun. As you can see, towards the left hand side of the chart you can see the pronoun I, that will be equals to M. For the pronouns you, we, and they, you're going to use R. And for the pronouns he, she, and it, then uh, we're going to use is. So, um, if we look at the examples, I'm Jennifer Miller. This is the same thing as saying, I am Jennifer Miller. You can see the meaning of those contractions towards the right-hand right side of the screen. Now let's try to make sense of this by looking at the examples on the chart. I'm Jennifer Miller. You're in my class. She's in our class. Jennifer is in our class. He's over there. Steven is over there. It's my math book. It's Miller. My last name is Miller. In order to understand this, you need to follow this particular rule that I'm going to display here um, on this document. Let me just change the size. One second. All right. Uh, and we're going to try to make sense of it, right? The subject uh, or pronoun is the first thing that we're going to have in order to form sentences. So, for example, I is the subject. And as we saw here, we can see that the verb to be 
to use whenever we use the pronoun or the subject I will be am. I am. And the complement is just other words that are used. So for example, I am Joe. So we got a subject, the verb to be, and then some kind of complement. Uh, let's give a, another example. I, uh, the verb to be, I am. And what is the complement to that? I'm going to say an English teacher. OK, let me give another example. Uh, now I'm going to um, give an example with he. He is the subject of our sentence. Uh, and um, if you remember, uh, for that, we're going to use the verb to be is. He is. And we're going to say uh, Mario. That's his name. Um, he. And we're going to say he is. Um, a mechanic. He is at work. Uh, let me go ahead and give an example with the pronoun they. Uh, and they are my co-workers. Now let's learn how to form yes or no questions using the verb to be. Let's look at this example that, that you see here on this chart. Are you Stephen Carson? That's a question. The way you respond to that question is by saying yes I am or no I'm not. Uh, then there's one last question there. How are you? We're going to focus on forming this yes or no questions using the verb to be. As I explained previously, um, I'll show you how to form statements using the verb to be, where we use the subject, the verb to be, and the complement. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to do we're going to follow something very similar, with the exception that we're going to form questions. So I'm going to copy this formula that I show you, and I'm going to paste it here, because I want you to see the relation between the two. What we're going to do essentially is we're going to move this verb to be before the pronoun. Okay, so we're going to move this verb to be before the pronoun, and that's how you form questions. Um, so look at the example: Are you Stephen Carson? We move the verb to be before the pronoun you. Okay, so our formula needs to change uh, now. Instead of uh, the subject at the beginning, we're going to say that that's the verb to be at the beginning. And then we're going to say that that's the uh, subject uh, or the pronoun. Okay, and then it's going to follow some kind of complement. So we're going to take the same examples here and simply change the order. And that's basically how we form questions. Um, so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here at the bottom. Um, and as I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to change the verb to be to the beginning and we're going to put the pronoun there. So let's look at that. This one changes here. And there we go. So the first question is, am I Joe? Yeah, obviously, you need to change things like spelling at the beginning with capitals. Am I Joe? OK. Um, and the next one, I am an English teacher. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the order and I'm going to say, am I an English teacher? All right, and then we put a question mark at the end. So how would we form the next one? Um, he is Mario. OK, if I want to ask the question, I'm going to change the verb to be to the beginning. And I'm going to say, is he 
Mario. Okay. Is he a mechanic? Is is he at work? Are they my co-workers? Now, what I would like for you to do is to give some examples of your own. Okay, uh, how was the explanation? Is that okay? <clears throat> nice. Yes. Everything yes. clear? Uh, everything. Okay, good. So let me share the presentation again. Okay. Okay, as we said yesterday, the verb be is like zero estar, depende como eh, lo, lo utilicemos o el contexto. Eh, se divide am um, is are con el único pronombre que van a usar am um, es con I. I am. So am um, no lo van a utilizar con ningún otro. Eh, with you, we use are. He, she, it. We use is, is, we, we use are, are, we, you, we use are again, and they, we use are. So, uh, basically remember that this is called third person singular. Esto se llama tercera persona singular, el he, she, it. Cuando es tercera persona singular, se usa is. Okay, so. Um, vamos a estar practicando con esto del verb be. Okay. Uh, as you can see in this chart, aquí tenemos solo las oraciones. En oraciones afirmativas y negativas con el verb be. Eh, en afirmativo tenemos una forma de contractar o de hacerlo corto. We can repeat. I am late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I am late. I am late. You are 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 late. He is late. He is late. He is late. He is late. She, she is, is late. late. She's late. She's late. She's late. It is late. It, it is late. late. It's late. It's, it's late. late. We are late. We are late. We're late. We're late. We're late. We're late. We're late. late. They are late. They are late. They are late. They are late. 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 Ok, ahora en forma negativa, para hacer una oración en forma negativa solo se agrega not después de am, is o are. Am not, is not, are not. Y eso es ya para hacer oraciones negativas. Eh, oraciones negativas tienen dos formas de hacer contracción o forma corta, ¿cómo se llama? Contracted form. Nada más el verb, eh, el, el verb to be en primera persona singular, que es I, en oración negativa solo hay una forma de contractarlo. Y es I'm sujeto not. y el verb be, am, I'm, I'm not late. I'm es not el único late. que no se puede contractar de dos formas en negativo. Los demás sí se puede contractar, ya sea juntando el pronombre con el verb be o juntando el verb be con la palabra not. Como ven aquí, dice, you're not late. You're not. You're not late. Yes, you aren't late. You aren't late. You aren't late. 
You, you are late. Are late. Uh -huh. You aren't late. You, you are late. You aren't. are late. Aren't late. Aren't late. Excellent. Very good. So, eh, son las dos. ¿Hay, ¿Hay preguntas aquí o está claro? What is the late? Late es tarde. Tarde. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's practice. You're not late. You're not, You're not late. 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 You aren't not late. late. You are not late. late. He's, not late. He's, He's not, not late. He's not late. He isn't late. He isn't, he isn't late. late. She's not late. She's, She's not, not late. late. She isn't late. She, she isn't, isn't late. late. It's not late. It's not late. It isn't late. It isn't late. We're not late. We're, We're not, not late. late. We aren't late. We are not late. late. They're not late. They are not, not late. late. They aren't late. They, they are not late. late. All right. So in this, in este otro chart, tenemos separados, verdad, las uh, las estructuras. Para oración afirmativa siempre vamos a poner primero el sujeto o pronombre. Luego el verbo to be que corresponda según sea el nombre o pronombre. Y luego un complemento. Ok, so we have I am from Canada. You are from Canada. And so on. Now for negative, como decíamos, para negativa solo vamos a agregar not. Después de am, um, is o are para hacer una oración negativa. Y la estructura básicamente es la misma. Nada más que agregamos la palabra not después de am is are. I am not from Canada. Y ya estamos haciendo una negación. Um, for questions, para preguntas, es tan fácil como invertir esto. El you are, are you. So, solo se le da vuelta y se pone primero el verb be. Am, is, are. Luego el sujeto, luego complemento y el signo de pregunta solamente al final. Ahora, cuando estamos contestando, estas se conocen como yes, no question porque son de respuesta corta. Se puede responder con sí o con no. Por ejemplo, si le preguntan, are you from Canada? La respuesta va a ser sí o no. Yes, I am o no, I am not. So, siempre vamos a ir jugando con el verbo be para contestar si es afirmativo. Yes, I am. Negativo, no, I am not. Mm -hmm. eh, questions so far? No, no questions? No questions. Question. All right, so no. in the presentation we have this exercise where we are going to practice. And we have the grammar part, which is the one that you already saw in the platform, but we can go ahead and practice it again. Uh, so yes, let, let me see. I didn't share my screen. No la compartí. Share here and click here. Okay, so uh, let's listen to this and then I'm going to explain something else about this. Page 5, Exercise 9, Grammar Focus, the verb be. I'm Jennifer Miller. You're in my class. She's in our class. Jennifer is in our class. He's over there. Stephen is over there. It's Miller. My last name is Miller. Are you Stephen Carson? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. How are you? I'm fine. I'm equals I am. Your equals you are. He's equals he is. She's equals she is is it's equals it is 
Ok, in regards of this, lo único que, bueno, esto es básicamente lo que acabamos de ver. Uh, recuerden que se puede sustituir el pronombre por el nombre. Y si es así, pues o se usa pronombre o se usa el nombre. Pero no se juntan las dos cosas. Aquí tienen un ejemplo. She, she's in our math class. O podemos sustituir este she por el nombre de la persona. En este caso, Jennifer. Jennifer is in our class. And that's it. So, I'll give you time for you to complete this exercise. Esto lo pueden completar. Si sí, ya sea que lo puedan modificar en la presentación, en el PowerPoint, o si la imprimieron y pueden escribir. O si no, pueden ir haciéndolo en su cuaderno. Uh, complete the conversation with the correct word in parentheses and then practice with a partner. So, van a leer y seleccionar cuál de las dos opciones que esté en paréntesis es la que mejor completa la oración o pregunta. We will have a couple of minutes to complete that and then we're going to check. Okay, Don. Yes. Yes. All right. So, um, the first one. It's hello, Jennifer. How are you? 
Uh, how do we continue, Susana? I, I am. I'm fine, thank you. Okay, fine. very good. Jonathan. I didn't hear uh, Scarlett. Can you continue here? No, let's escuché yeah. you. In this part, please. Yo he cortado. Okay, so, entonces es mi internet quizás. ¿Ahora me escucha mejor? Sí. sí. Okay, yeah. ¿cómo sería aquí, Scarlett? Es... I am. Yes, I'm... excellent. I'm sorry, what's your name again? Very good. Uh, let's see, Hector. Is it's it's David David mm -hmm. Medina. Okay. Uh Salvador. You're mute. Excuse me. This is Sarah Connor. Uh huh. This is Sarah Connor. That's right, David. This is Sarah Connor. Good. Guadalupe? Yes. She is. She is. She is in her mat class. Very good. Uh, Astrid? It. It. No. Uh, hi, Sarah. It's nice to meet you. Uh huh. Hi, Sarah. It's nice to meet you. Very good. Uh, next, Grady. Uh Buenas noches, recién entré a la clase, disculpe, eh, estoy en la conversación de Jennifer. Dice ya. Uh, Sara, donde dice Sara, dice, hi David, I think. You're, uh -huh. I think you're in my English class too. And then it says, Marvin. <laughs> Oh, right. Yes, I am. Okay. All right. Yes, I am. Those were the answers. Do you have any question? Alguna que les haya puesto en duda? ¿Cuál era um, la respuesta? En, la, en el primer párrafo, um, donde Jennifer. Uh, it's sorry or is I'm sorry? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. um, se refiere a, 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 a ella misma, entonces I am. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. En la siguiente el t-shirt es donde dice David. Es his o es it? It's, it's David. ¿Por qué? Es, es Ajá. David. Sí, es David. ¿Por qué? Porque nos estamos refiriendo al nombre. Ella le preguntó, what's your name again? Entonces usa mm -hmm. it's para decir, es David, el nombre. Se está refiriendo al nombre. Uh, y, no, y, al ser, uh -huh. Uh -huh. y al referirse a una cosa, entonces por eso usamos el it's. Muy buena pregunta. Any other question? Donde dice... Sara, hi David, porque you are. Ah, le, le dice, tú estás, hola David, tú estás en mi clase. Tú estás uh -huh. también en mi clase. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Así va el hilo. Ok. Any other question? No. Oh. Okay, 
So I'm going to create the group so you can practice this conversation. Let's repeat together and then you're going to practice in group. Hello, Jennifer. How are you? Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Hello Jennifer. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. I'm sorry. What's your name again? I'm fine. I'm, fine. I'm sorry. Thank you. What's your I'm name sorry. Again? What's your name again? I'm fine too. I'm sorry. It's David. David Medina. David. 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 That's right, David. This is Sarah. That's, That's right. right. David. 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 She's in our math class. She's in our math class. Hi, Sarah. It's nice to meet you. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. It's nice, nice to meet you. Hi, David. I think you're in my English class too. Hi, David. Hi, David. You're in my English class. English class. All right. Yes, I am. All right. All right. Yes, I am. Okay, I'm going to create a breakout room so that you can practice with your classmates. Okay, let's go and practice.
Okay, so I see that everybody's here again. So we're going to continue with the next exercise that we have here. All right, for the next exercise, I'd like for you to complete these sentences. Um, I'm going to share this. Uh, I think it's bigger now. Lo veo como un poco arriba. Okay, but I think that you can see. Can you see from number one? Se puede ver desde la uno. Lo veo super arriba. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I can see. Yes. Okay, so. Uh, Perfect. <laughs> okay, so what you're going to do is to read the sentences or the questions carefully and complete with the form of the verb B, which is the best for each one. Uh, so you'll be completing with am, is, are. In some cases, maybe you would need it affirmative or negative. It will depend. So uh, you can do this in your notebook if you haven't printed this material or you cannot modify it. You can do it in the notebook. Just write the number and the answer. So let's do the number one together. It says, I am from Canada and my classmate from Egypt. So what is the correct answer here? I am from Canada. He's from. He's is, from. uh -huh. from. I am from Canada because and my also. classmate is yes. from Egypt. Porque me estoy refiriendo a mi compañero o compañera de clase. My classmate. Entonces mm -hmm. es él o ella, ¿verdad? Si sea él o ella, siempre usaría is. Uh, so that's number one. Answer is. Así las pueden ir haciendo. Si, si no tienen otra opción más que el cuaderno, pueden escribir solo el número y la respuesta. For example, one is. Para que no lo copien todo, porque si no, no les va a alcanzar el tiempo. So I'll give you time for you to complete this exercise. And then we're going to check your answers. Sí. Sí.
Ready? Finished? Yes, finished. Okay, uh, yes. volunteer for number two? R. Okay, it's two parts. Yes, he is. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Partially correct. He is parcialmente correct. Yes, your brother a teacher. Uh -huh. Is your brother a teacher? Very good. Algunos se confunden y, y, y dicen aquí are porque confunden este your. Pero este no es pronombre personal. ¿Qué es? What is it? ¿Hmm? It's a possessive. It's, it's a possessive. Very good, Salvador. Es un possessive. Entonces, ahí está preguntando, ¿es tu hermano un profesor? So, el your con R al final es un possessive pronoun. Ahí el sujeto, ¿quién es? Tu hermano. Así completo, tu hermano. <laughs> eh, entonces, se refiere a él. Por eso estamos usando is. Is your brother a teacher? Yes, he is. So, very good. Good job. Teamwork. So, number three, volunteer. R. Yes, R. Sarah and Jane are at the restaurant. Y tal vez hay alguno por ahí o tal vez nadie, pero... A veces se confunden y ponen is ahí. ¿Por qué no puede ser is? Porque no es algo. Ah. De dos personas. Ah. Ajá, se refiere a dos personas. Ok, so, es, son dos. Personas singular. Entonces, exacto. Por eso les decía anteriormente que cuando es tercera persona singular... He, she, it. Ahí sí se usa is. Pero en este caso ya es plural. Son ellas. Entonces, en ese caso, para ellos o ellas, are. 
Sara and Jane are at the restaurant. So good catch. Number four, volunteer. R. 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 They are at work right now. They are at work right now. Uh huh. And the rest? Where? Where, Where is they? they? Where are they? Where, Where are they? they? Uh huh. Number five, volunteer. Um, I'm not late. Am I late? No, you are. Am I late? No, you aren't. Very nice. Good job. Mm -hmm. Number six. It is, is, Paris is the capital city. Is the Paris. Uh -huh. Paris the capital is the capital city of France. Uh -huh. Paris is the capital city of France. Very good. Paris is the capital city of France. Okay, uh, now. The cookies, the cookies are good. Oh, these cookies are, are delicious. These cookies, this cookie are really delicious. Oh, are really, really delicious. delicious. Por ahí escuché un is. Uh -huh. No, this, this is cookies are, are really delicious. Are. Is are. Okay, these cookies are, pero por ahí oigo is y por ahí oigo are, entonces <laughs> iluminen. <laughs> are. Cookies are. Is for because. Uh, Yes. Yes. Es más de dos. Ajá, dice cookies. Está en plural. Ajá. Entonces ahí dice plural. Sí, pero es una cosa, pero está en plural. Entonces se convierte en ellas. En esas galletas. Ellas. All right. So, uh, esos. Ajá. Esas galletas. Es plural. Ajá. So, por eso es R. Por eso la respuesta es R. These cookies are really delicious. Uh, number eight is are your classmates? Where are your classmates? Where are your classmates? And then are they in the cafeteria? Are they in the cafeteria? Uh huh. Number nine. I am. 22 I years old. I am 22 years old. Uh-huh. I am 20 years old. Hello. How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Okay, good. How old are you? Okay, How old are you? Uh, number 10. Your names are, are Susan and their Jennifer. names are, are names and are Susan and Jennifer. All right, their names are Susan and Jennifer. Very good. Number 11. Are you William? Yes. Grammar is easy. Is I'm not. Are you? Uh -huh. Are you William? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I am not. Okay, uh, number 12, grammar is easy. Okay, aquí está diciendo grammar is easy. Uh -huh. it's, it is. It's, 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 it's difficult. It's, it's not, it's not, uh, ¿Qué it significa it's easy? It's not. Uh -huh. Easy is easy. Fácil. Ay, me emocioné y le di la respuesta antes. Ok. <ríe> Como está diciendo. Eh, ¿Cómo dijo? Easy fácil. es fácil. Okay. Y en la otra dice difficult. Entonces, sí, no sí. puedo. Ajá. No puedo decir la gramática es fácil, es difícil. Entonces, en esta sí tenía que ir negativa, ¿verdad? Entonces, nos quedaba. I know. It. 
It's not. It's not difficult. Uh -huh. Grammar is easy. It's not difficult. Al principio parece difícil, pero la verdad es que no lo es. <laughs> so grammar is easy. It isn't difficult. All right. So number 13. Elephants are, are very, very big, big animals. Is are very big night. Oh, y por ahí uh, el pleito entre is y are. <laughs> so. <laughs> elephants are. ¿Cuál es la clave? Animals. Plural. Es, plural. La, es, plural. Es, es plural. Elephants. Uh -huh. Ajá. Si solo diría uh, uno, elephant. si solo diría elephant, elephant is. 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 Ahí sí Very usaríamos animal. is. Pero como uh -huh. está en plural, elephants are, 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 are very big animals. Very animal. Okay. Uh, what about number 14? What time is it? What time is it? It is it? It is it? It is or it's three o'clock. Very good. And finally, the number fifteen. I am. I am very hungry. I am very hungry. Let's go eat. Very it. nice. You did a nice job. Uh, awesome. So, how do you feel this exercise? ¿Cómo sintieron el ejercicio? ¿Qué les pareció? Un poquito difícil. Un poquito difícil. Ajá, ¿verdad? Que no es así como que, ay, el verbo vi todo el tercer ciclo mismo. Eso, diplomado en verbo to be. <laughs> no, so, sí, a veces es como que, es como, ay, Dios, estar así como que yo soy, tú estás. Pero sí es necesario. Mm -hmm. A veces algo que parece tan sencillo, pero requiere mucha práctica. Tal vez no lo hemos practicado lo suficiente, pero me alegra que hayan aclarado y hayan visto esas pequeñas cosas que a veces solo se va avanzando en los niveles y, y igual, ¿verdad? Este, eh, quedan esos vacíos. So ahora entendemos que eh, la palabra singular a plural nos va a decir bastante al momento de saber si vamos a usar is, si vamos a usar are, etc. Y este tipo de ejercicios en los que tenemos que ir analizando so nos van a ayudar bastante. Eh, Espero que estén haciendo los ejercicios de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Avancen lo más que puedan. Alguien me preguntó por ahí si del certificado. Eh, no sé si todos o alguien tiene la misma pregunta. ¿Cómo funciona lo del certificado? Ese, eh, ¿tienen ustedes que llegar a la mínimo del de 80% de la plataforma completo y correcto? Y luego ya ven el certificado, se muestra ahí mismo en la plataforma. Eh, cuando ustedes llenan ese requisito del 80%, les aparece ahí uh, en el progress, donde dice progress, les pone ahí uh, the, get certificate o download the certificate, algo así, y ya ustedes pueden ver su certificado. Eh, hay personas que tal vez han tenido la bendición o la suerte de tomar clases aparte y ya andan un poquito más avanzaditos. Entonces ya he visto que sacan el certificado la segunda semana de clase y ya no aparecen. ¿ve? Pero les recomiendo, ¿verdad? Que aunque completen la plataforma, aunque ya tengan el certificado, traten de no perder clases. Porque este es el espacio en el que pueden aclarar dudas, pueden interactuar y practicar con sus compañeros y compañeras. ¿vea? So, lo cual es muy, muy importante para que se desarrollen en... En lo que es el idioma. Mañana tenemos clase, es viernes, regularmente los viernes no se tienen clase, pero oh, esta semana sí porque no tuvimos la clase el lunes, sino que empezamos martes. Perdón, ay, necesito agua, me emociono. Uh -huh. Pero ya, así que no planes para mañana, viernes, ya el próximo viernes sí. Igual cuídense que esto está serio. No lo sabe. No, es que ya es otro, el, el dicho ya es, es viernes y el COVID lo sabe, ¿verdad? Ya lo está esperando en los bebederos, así, rotándose como las moscas, vea. Así es que no, cuidadito. Ok, um, thank you for joining. I know this, you're tired, you need to go to sleep. So, thank you and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good, 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 good night. night.
Good night. Bye. Sleep well. Bye. 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 Bye.